Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. It's Monday, June 13th, 2022, and that was a brutal day in the markets. Huge sell off across the board, just about every asset that you can think of in the red in a big way. All of the major stock indexes down very significantly. Uh, the Dow down 2.79%, NASDAQ down over 4%, the Russell 2000 faring the worst. And you know, that's a bad sign for the domestic economy because that is the index that is most overweight U.S. domestic stocks. Gold and silver got pounded. Gold back down to 1818. Silver right around 21 bucks. Bitcoin got absolutely trashed down, looks like about 15%, down to 23,000. So cryptocurrency is getting absolutely destroyed today. But one thing that you'll notice is that one asset class that did not sell off today was crude oil. So why is crude oil in the green? And it's not like it moved up a lot, but the fact that it even finished in the green at all, I think is quite significant given the degree of the sell-off that we experienced in other asset classes. Well, part of it has to do with Libya. This is a report from Al Jazeera over the weekend fighting between rival militias rock Libya's capital of Tripoli. And these are two militias, the Nawasi Brigade and the Stability Support Force. Uh, so they're each aligned with rival politicians and they're trying to take control of the capital. And Libya has just been in shambles since 2011 when Muammar Gaddafi was ousted from power. And this ongoing violence has been kind of a hallmark of that post-Gaddafi Libya. But now the fighting is getting so bad that the government oil minister came out and he said that Libya is now losing 1.1 million barrels per day of production. And that is because they have been forced to close all but a few small oil fields. And now if we take a look at this article here from oilprice.com, we can see that their daily production is close to now about 100,000 barrels per day. And the oil output there has been declining for a while now. In May, the number was already down to about 600,000 from about 1.2 million, but now all the way down to 100,000. So safe to say that Libyan has almost been taken out of the game entirely in terms of oil production. And just to put these numbers into perspective, here is a table that is provided by the US Energy Information Administration of the world's 10 largest oil producers in 2021. And you can see that the United States there at the top of the table producing 18.88 million barrels per day. And this gives you all the other countries, Russia there in the number three spot notably. And then the world total here, if you add up all of the producers of oil around the world, it's 95.57 million barrels per day. So losing 1.1 million barrels per day of production from Libya is extremely significant. It's greater than 1% of total world production. And when you remove 1% of the oil from a market that is already extremely tight due to the geopolitical tensions at the moment between the West and between Russia, who, like I mentioned, is the number three producer of oil, it is not surprising that that would put tremendous upward pressure on the price of energy. And in this article from oilprice.com, the author notes that the pressure on oil, the impact could have been significantly greater if it hadn't been for the fact that outages in Libya are frequent and also that there was some news out of China, which is now mass testing citizens after a COVID outbreak. And that piece of news sparked some concern about the Chinese demand for energy in case it does decide to impose further lockdowns. And the other thing you have to consider is that there was this massive pan sell-off across all assets. And so just the fact that crude oil managed to remain in the green at all is actually tremendously significant. So, you know, this is just one more straw on the back of a world economy that is already saddled with tremendous inflationary pressures, much of which is coming from the energy sector. And, you know, I don't know if this is going to be the straw that breaks the economic camel's back. Only time is going to tell. But it definitely gets us closer to that terminal event. And another thing to keep an eye on today was the 10-year bond. The yield on that moved up by 6.65%. And it has been doing this trading session after trading session. And 
If this goes on much longer, the Fed is probably going to be forced to intervene because there's going to be a liquidity crisis. And if that happens, that is going to put tremendously higher pressure on energy moving forward. Going into winter, we are going to have a perfect storm of factors that are going to contribute to dramatically higher energy prices. And that could really spell disaster for our economy. As energy goes into just about every sector of the economy, it's going to affect prices across the board. And this inflation problem that we're experiencing is really going to get out of control. And this is just bringing us one step closer to that event. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is Libyan oil production not a factor moving forward? Or do you think that this is going to contribute to the inflationary collapse that I believe is coming? And thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate everybody who tunes into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out.